Hi friends, I am starting an experiment to grow spinach in three gardens and see which garden is going to work out well, if not all. These gardens are I do 8 pod hydroponic system, lead pot 12 pod hydroponic system and aero garden harvest. And the spinach variety I am trying in these gardens is Bloomsdale long standing spinach. Alright, all three gardens are ready now. Here is lead pot and here is I do and then finally aero garden harvest. I used all the pods in all gardens and I placed two seeds in each pod. Let's see who is going to win. I will use maxi grow nutrition in all three gardens and I will use half a teaspoon of nutrition for every one liter of water. It's been five days. Out of 26 pods and 52 seeds, I see only one seed germinated in I do. And the seedling is coming nice. I don't see any signs of germination from any of the other seeds. It's been 11 days. I still see no difference. I still have just one seedling that is coming in this I do. I don't see any signs of germination from any of the other seeds. However, the seeds are looking fine, so I'm going to wait a little longer and see what happens. At the same time, I will also start a few seeds using the paper towel method in case none of those seeds germinate. Alright, the seeds are ready in this paper towel. I'm going to leave it in a dark and warm place. Let's see how many of these will germinate. It's been 18 days. I see no luck, none of the seeds germinated. Even the first seed that got germinated gave up because I did not add nutrition. So it gave up, this is expected. But I don't see any seeds germinated in any of these gardens. So it's time to officially call off on these seeds. I can't expect these seeds to germinate even after 18 days. Now let's take a look at the seeds that I started using Ziploc method. I already see a lot of positive signs. Looks like there is a lot of good news. Let's open it. I'm just being very gentle. Wow, look at these roots. That's an excellent news. Woohoo! Look at these wonderful seedlings. Wow. Now it's time to transplant all these seedlings into all my gardens. I think I have a bunch of seeds. These are enough for all three gardens. So I'm going to transfer all these seedlings and start feeding them. These seedlings are already looking so leggy and weak. So I need to start feeding these seedlings as early as possible. There are still some seedlings just started sprouting. But look at these beautiful seedlings. Now I am transplanting the seeds into a light pot. Alright, now it's Aero Gardens time. Alright, after so much effort, I am finally done with transplanting all the seedlings. Now all three of my gardens are ready with seedlings. Let's see how this is going to work out. Alright, here they are. These seedlings are big, so all these are visible in I do. But the seedlings in lead pot are a little bit small, so it's a little hard to see. Same thing with Aero Garden, the seedlings are a little bit small here. But I'm sure they will catch up in a day or two. It's been two days since I transplanted the seedlings. All the seedlings are settling very well. These are the seedlings in Aero Garden Harvest. All seedlings are looking fine. This one looks little weak. Let's see what happens with this. 
and these are the seedlings in i do all seedlings are looking very healthy and coming to lead pot there is only one seedling that looks very weak i am completely hopeless on this seedling but all the remaining seedlings are settling very well and showing nice progress it's been four days since i transplanted the seedlings few seeds are giving up here i see one seedling giving up in aero garden and i see two seedlings gave up in lead pot so i'm going to replace these seeds i suspected that those seedlings will give up so i started few more seeds as backup and i see nice seedlings now i'm going to transplant these seedlings it's been 10 days since I transplanted the seedlings. All seedlings are coming excellent. These are the seedlings in Aerogod and Harvest. This is a seedling that I recently replaced. This is also catching up the growth. Then these are the seedlings in Ido. These seedlings are leading the race. The main reason is I picked the best seedlings for this Ido. They're really standing up and showing nice progress. Then these are the seedlings in lead pot. These seedlings also catching up the growth and they are coming very nice. So far this experiment is going excellent. It's been 14 days. These are the seedlings in Aero Garden Harvest. I see one seedling pretty much gave up. Not sure what's happening. This was showing nice progress and it was very healthy. But all of the sudden it started giving up. So I started few more seeds as backup. I am going to replace this. I have no hopes on this seedling. So I am going to replace this one. I see one more seedling showing a little bit of weakness. This was also showing nice progress. But it started showing some weakness recently. I might need to replace this one as well. Let's see. The remaining seedlings are looking fine. And they are growing very nice. Showing good progress. Coming to Ido. These seedlings are really leading the race. All seedlings are looking very healthy and there is a lot of spinach already. In fact, I can harvest all these bigger leaves if I want to or whenever I want from now on. And these are the seedlings in lead pot. All these seedlings also looking very healthy. I don't see any seeds giving up. This one is a little bit slow, but I think this is going to survive. Anyway, I have some backup seeds in case this gives up. It's been 25 days, starting with Aero Garden. I see three plants are coming very nice and producing lots of spinach. Three plants didn't survive. I replaced one seedling here. Even the replaced one is not doing any great. Maybe these are too small and they couldn't compete with the bigger plants in this garden. So I'm going to leave it as is and continue this garden with three plants. Coming to Ido, this garden is leading from day one. I already have lots of spinach. This morning I harvested a few leaves and I still have plenty of spinach growing in this Ido. Coming to lead pot, all the seedlings are coming very nice. Of course, they are not growing as fast as the plants in other gardens. But most of these seedlings settled very well and now they started showing some good progress. There are only two seedlings that are not showing any progress or showing very weak progress. Let's see if these two seedlings can catch up the growth. But rest are all doing excellent. It's day 29. I have very mixed results starting with Aero Garden. Only three plants survived. The other three plants are still alive but they are pretty much gone. I don't expect them to grow. This is just an unfortunate situation that uh, these seeds couldn't catch up the growth in the initial days and they went behind and behind and behind. Coming to Ido, these plants are leading from day one. I already harvested some spinach from this garden and I keep on harvesting. Lots of spinach shown up here. All plants are doing very well and produced gigantic leaves. So it is clearly Ido is the winner. But Aero Garden is not behind except this unfortunate situation. These plants are doing really good. I see gigantic spinach here as well. 
finally coming to lead pot these plants are way behind compared to idu and aero garden lot of plants have survived and they are looking healthy but they are not growing at the same pace as the plants in idu and aero garden even though this garden comes with 20 voltage lights i don't think these lights are as powerful as idu or aero garden i saw pretty similar pattern with my previous experiments as well the plants were always little bit slow so this garden is not winning at all it's day 31 Lots of spinach is ready in both Aero Garden and I do. I already started harvesting spinach from both Aero Garden and I do, and I will continue harvesting the spinach. My next observation will be how long these plants will survive in each garden. All right, I just harvested spinach from I do, and it is already too much. I didn't get a chance to harvest anything from Aero Garden. Maybe it's for tomorrow. Looks like the spinach is already bolting. Some plants are getting really tall. Maybe they are already getting started to bolt. Let's see. It's day thirty-two, and it's time to harvest a spinach from Aero Garden today. Just to showing the progress from other gardens. Now I can see lots of spinach in lead pot. But this spinach is not any closer to the spinach in other gardens. I don't see any gigantic leaves. All the spinach I see here is like baby spinach, but these leaves are matured and ready to harvest. Since I already have plenty of spinach in Aero Garden and I do, I'm going to come back to lead pot little later. For today I'm harvesting from Aero Garden. All right, I harvested bunch of spinach and here it is good enough for today. I still have a lot of spinach for next couple of days. It's day 34. I still see lots of spinach in Aero Garden and I do, but I don't see a lot of spinach in Lead Pot. It has a bunch of baby spinach and I see the plant started bolting already. So I don't see a lot of value keeping this garden going on, but I'll keep it at least few more days. And it's time to harvest some spinach from I do today. I see the plants have grown up they started bolting and they are growing tall and touching the lights so I'm going to cut the stems keep the plants to half It's day 37 the gardens are still going good lots of spinach ready in pretty much all the gardens i already harvested a bunch of spinach from aero garden and i do i haven't harvested anything from this lead pot so it's time to start harvesting this baby spinach it's day 46 the plants are still doing great and producing nice spinach look at this spinach it is still coming excellent in aero garden and also in i do and coming to lead pot I haven't started harvesting yet but I see bunch of spinach here and it's ready to harvest. The plants already started bolting so it's time to give up on these plants. It's almost getting close to the end of this experiment. It's day 46. The plants are still doing excellent. These are the plants in Aero Garden and they are still producing nice and beautiful spinach. It's all going very well here. I have been harvesting now and then and they are coming back and these are the plants in I do these plants also doing excellent let me show you one nice thing here here I cut the main stem of this plant and I see lots of side branches and they are producing nice spinach this spinach is looking like baby spinach but they have bunch of leaves so it is all going good coming to lead pod I haven't started harvesting yet I see bunch of spinach None of the leaves are gigantic or they are not even decent but I see bunch of baby spinach and the plants are still doing good. They started bolting so I see lots of flowering everywhere but I still see lots of leaves so this is all going good. I think this experiment is getting so close to end. Let's see how long I can manage them. It's day 47. Finally I have decided to harvest all the spinach and call it done. 
all the plants reach to bolting stage and they are flowering so much. Once the spinach starts bolting, it gets bitter and the flowers release lots of pollen and that makes a lot of mess. So I am going to remove these plants before I get into that mess. Overall, Aero Garden and I do did very well and produced lots of spinach with gigantic leaves. Leadpot did okay, but it struggled so much to compete with Idu or Aerogarden. It produced some spinach, but the growth is not anywhere near to other gardens. Even though they all claim to have 20 voltage lights, I really doubt the lead pot is standing up to 20 voltage. Alright, that is all for now. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.